Greetings, everyone. I'm excited to share with you the next project that I'm going to be working on on my channel. The next uh, series of videos is going to be a little bit different than my normal, uh, more produced uh, video format. Um, and that's simply because of the project that I'm working on. So this is Masterpiece Models um, 31 inch Nautilus from Disney's 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Um, it's 31 inches. It's two and a half feet and it's it barely fits in my workspace and my normal method of filmmaking just it won't work here um so unfortunately you're going to get a lot more of my mug and um a lot more of my voice uh, i'm going to do kind of a video log style series for this as i build it now um this is a commission build and um basically what we're going to be having here is the nautilus it's going to be fully lit, both interior and exterior. Um, the prop is going to be motorized, and um, I actually we actually have the uh, the the resin interior set to do the salon or the saloon. Sorry, salon, salon. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna show you what I've done so far, kind of take you through the steps, uh, explain a little bit about the kit, and um, and kind of go from there. And um, I, this will probably be a long build series. Uh, this is going to be quite an involved uh, build, um, so bear with me. Um, but uh, I, I hope you'll enjoy. I, I'm really looking forward to this. So anyways, um, I'm going to change camera positions here, uh, try not to make you sick, and uh, kind of take you through what, uh, what I've been doing. Okay, so I'm on my tripod now. So hopefully this will be a little bit more stable and you won't get motion sickness from this. But... Um, so the majority of the kit is resin. Um, there are a few pieces such as the, uh, the, the portholes for the, um, the bridge and the sal salon. Uh, these are, this is vacuform plastic. Um, the, uh, ship's wheel is, um, is metal. You can see it there. And yes, those are googly eyes. Um, and those in fact will act as the lenses for all of the exterior lighting around the uh, main observation window. Uh, basically the idea is you peel off the white backing of the googly eye, remove the eyeball, or the pupil I suppose, and you're left with a clear lens. So that is that's, that's how they send it to you. Um, you also get a little piece of um, uh, copper rod as well as a small acrylic rod. This actually goes inside the, um, the bridge and um, in, in the movie, that is their, their, essentially their depth gauge. So that's what that is. Um, the rest of it is resin. Uh, the main body is resin. All the others, all these other components are resin. Um, it's quite an impressive kit. And again, like I said, it's 31 inches. It's just, it's massive. Uh, it's heavy and um, packed full of detail. You can, you can kind of see all that rivet detail. It's quite, uh, quite nice, quite fine. Um, you can see that right here we have the closed iris. I will have to remove that so that we can actually see inside the to the salon. Um, but um, just quite impressive molding and uh, overall quality for the most part. Um, from what I've test fit so far, it, it actually fits pretty well. Um, being such a large resin piece, however, there is some um, resin shrinkage in a few places that I've noticed, but stuff that I can deal with. Um, anyways, in terms of preparation so far, um, that we've got the front and, and aft, uh, dive planes. Uh, this had, you can see that the opening there, I had to actually cut that out. There was resin blanks in there, same with here. Um, on the lower surface, this, this whole area was, was, uh, filled in that you have to remove. Um, in general, there's some cleanup stuff. Um, talking about the shrinkage, um, so you can see here, so this is the, the, the forward, um, rake, um, it's supposed to continue unbroken all the way from here up onto the top of the bridge there. Uh, however, you can see there's quite a large gap there. Um, if I were to butt it all the way forward like that, it, it doesn't quite reach the bridge. So I think what I'll end up doing is gluing it there and then filling in this gap with some with some plastic and uh, completing that off. Um, the bridge will have an interior. There's a bunch of resin pieces that fit in there that, that are like pipe work and, 
gauges and, and levers and stuff, um, as well as detail that goes on here, like the ship's wheel, the, the depth gauge. Uh, there's railing that goes around here to the stairs, the stairs that would go down to the rest of the ship. Um, like I said, uh, the, the iris here will have to be removed. Uh, so that'll just be a work with the Dremel. Um, you can see here the the overall fit is okay. Uh, you, you can see where I actually had to go in with my, my Dremel tool and really kind of clean out uh, the the impression here to make a, to make this piece fit in. Um, if we open it up, sorry, let me get this back up here. Let's open this up. So inside, um, there wasn't too much cleanup that work that I had to do along the edges here where where it where it sits. Um, that actually was was that actually fits pretty good. Um, same thing with the lower hull. Um, you can see here, this is the, uh, this is the, the floor to what will eventually be the saloon. Um, it's got a lot of detailing, such as these, these pipes that, that fit in there. Um, and it's actually got a, a mirror side on this side, plus there's ends. You can, you have Captain Nemo's Oregon in there, a bunch of cushions and some, some clear display cases for all of his knickknacks and stuff. So that'll be fun to paint up. The, the interior will be lit so that you can actually look through the viewing, viewing port and see that. Um, and, uh, should look quite, quite impressive, I hope. Um, so the other thing that I've been working on, uh, like I said, this will be motorized, uh, obviously not functional, but it'll, it'll look the part here. So basically what I've got here is this, um, 12 volt DC motor. Uh, I've got a length of, uh, copper tubing attached to it. That'll act as the propeller shaft. Uh, that obviously it's way too long. It'll get cut and trimmed to the correct length. And I have this one here, which is a slightly larger diameter than this one. And I'll, I'll cut this one to about inch and a half and that'll sit there and basically act as a sleeve so that this, this inner shaft will, will, um, fit through there. This part will be attached directly to the ship. Whereas this part will remain free so that it can spin and we'll, we'll lubricate that up. And, and, uh, I think it should, uh, work pretty nicely. Um, we will have a activation button that'll be basically drilled through the hole here on the back side. Uh, this will be intended to really to be displayed from one side. Um, uh, basically this will be the viewing side here. Um, so there will be a large or a button on the back here that will turn everything on all the lights and, um, and the propeller. And, um, I think it'll be, it'll be really cool. Um, it also includes a stand with it, and again, it's resin. Um, I assembled this and um, reinforced it with some um, steel wire, uh, basically steel pins from the center support to the sides, so that because uh, I mean, again, this is this will be really heavy, um, especially with all the interior stuff, all of the all of the electronics. Um, it's gonna it's gonna weigh a decent amount. So that's what I'm working on. And uh, I will pr be providing updates on this as we go along. Um, and like I said, you're going to have to deal with me talking in this kind of uh, handheld camera style. But um, I'm excited for it. So if you ever have any questions or comments, please uh, leave them down below in the video. And um, I will try to answer them as quickly as possible. Um, please check out my Instagram. I will have a, a link down for it below. Um, I usually post, you know, daily, if not daily, but frequent updates on my Instagram. So you can kind of get a little bit of a behind the scenes of what I'm doing. And, um, again, also I, I'm open for com commissions as well. Uh, this is a commission piece and, um, you can, uh, email me at the email below in the description for uh, information about that. But anyways, I, I, um, appreciate everybody that has subscribed so far at the time of this the viewing or the filming of this video, I just reached 450 subscribers. So that's really exciting. I'm just thrilled that the, the channel is getting the traction that it is. And I really appreciate your comments um, and questions. And I, I also appreciate uh, feedback too. I mean, if, if there's something that you see that I'm, I could be doing better or there's an easier way of doing it, please let me know. Uh, I'm always ready to learn something new and and uh, not above uh, learning new tricks. So anyways, thank you. Take care. Uh, see you in the next video.